Hello and welcome to Midas Tutorials. In this tutorial I'll guide you through the initial setup of your venues. Now when you log into Midas for the very first time, you'll see a message informing you that there are currently no venues. To start setting up your venues, click the Add Venue link in this message and you'll be taken to the Manage Venue screen. Adding a new venue is as simple as entering its name here, for example Room 1, Specifying the maximum occupancy level here, that's the maximum number of people this venue can safely accommodate, and then clicking Save Changes. Once saved, your venue will appear in the All Venues list to the left. To add further venues, click the New Venue button, and then proceed as before to add details of your other venues. So we'll add Room 2, again click New Venue, Room 3, Room 4 for 400 people, and finally we'll add Room 5 for 500 people. Save changes. Now when we return to the booking grid by clicking this icon here, You'll see the venues we've entered are now shown, and we can begin adding bookings. To return to the Manage Venues screen at any time, click the Midas Admin Options icon in the toolbar, and then select Manage Venues from the drop-down. There are additional settings on this screen allowing you to further customise and control your venues. To modify a venue, select it from the Venues list to the left, and its current details will be shown to the right. So let's look at these additional settings in more detail. Firstly, the Hours tab. This allows you to specify the operating hours of your venue for each day of the week. This grid consists of 168 squares, each one representing an hour period during the week. A green box means the venue is open during that hour. A red box means the venue is closed. You can toggle the open close state for each hour during the week by left-clicking the corresponding box. If you right click the box instead, you can close the venue in 15 minute intervals. To the right of the grid, the closed tick box allows you to close the venue for an entire day. Clicking it again will open it. If you wish to completely close a venue for a specific duration, perhaps over the summer or whilst your venue undergoes maintenance or renovation works, you can close the venue using the Closed From and Closed To fields below. This will then prevent bookings being taken during the period you specify. The second tab is the Rate tab. From here you can set your higher charges for your venue, either hourly or daily, and also set different rates for different days of the week. This is covered in more depth in the tutorial on invoicing. The Groups tab allows you to group your venues into smaller subsets. So if you have a high number of venues, you'll be able to filter your booking grid display accordingly. You can then also control on a per user basis which of these venue groups a user has access to, and in that way limit and hide venues from certain users. So to assign your venues to venue groups, you first need to create some groups. Clicking the New Group button allows you to enter a name for your new group. We're going to call this one Group A. And we click OK. We'll add one more group, Group B. And you'll see our new groups are listed here. We can then select one or the other or both of these groups to assign Room 1 to those. So as an example I'm going to assign Room 1 to Group A so I'll click Save Changes to that. I'm going to select Room 2 and put that into Group A. I'm going to put Room 3 into Group A and Group B. And then I'm going to put Rooms 4 and Room 5 both into Group B. Group B. 
and we'll see the results of this a little later on. Now if you've configured your MIDAS to allow public booking requests, the publicly requestable tick box below the room name controls whether this particular venue should be available for requesting or not. The Managers tab then lists all those administrators who have permission to process booking requests and allows you to specify which of these administrators are to be allowed to approve requests for this particular venue. So this allows you to filter requests for different rooms to different administrators. Finally, the Description tab allows you to enter a detailed description about your venue. You can also include HTML code here, allowing you to include links or images of your venues. Now I have some HTML code in my clipboard at the moment, so I'm going to paste that into this box. And you'll see there's some generic text, and then the HTML code for a couple of images. Once I'm happy with this, again I click Save Changes. And now when I return to the booking grid, and hover over Room 5, you'll see the description I've just entered along with the images now appears. Also, if you remember back to the venue groups we set up a few moments ago, at present all our venues are listed, Rooms 1 to Room 5, because this control is set to Show All. I can change this to show Group A, and that will then just show the rooms that belong to Group A. Similarly, I can show Group B, and that will just show me rooms 3, 4 and 5, the rooms we've assigned to Group B. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other tutorials at mid.as forward slash tutorials.